Now it is no secret that Harpa has disappointed me as a collector quite a few times over the last many years, but there are also times where they make me really rather happy. So which one is it today? Well, we'll find out thanks to the great prices of the FMB shop. Do check them out. The link is in the video description below. So with that, hello and welcome to a new episode of Review, where we today will take a closer look at an Airbus A321neo of Air New Zealand. At the front of the box, we have a cutout so we can get a glimpse of the aircraft model inside. And on top of the box, we have the Air New Zealand branding. Now, I don't want to waste much time on the box because, honestly speaking, it is a rather dreadful box design. We have yet another cutout on the back side of the box. So the only thing really important here to mention is simply the fact that it is a limited edition. And here she is, the Airbus A321neo of Air New Zealand. And I hear you already saying, didn't you review such a model just a few months ago? And I mean, yes, technically almost kind of correct, but not really, because of course, this is not the normal all blacks livery of Air New Zealand, but this is the Star Alliance livery of Air New Zealand. And we just don't get enough of the Star Alliance liveries from Hapa Wings. But here we finally have an aircraft model with it. I'm very, very excited for this. So let's take a closer look and see what the aircraft model has to offer. And as always, we start off with the tail section where we on the vertical stabilizer have the lovely Star Alliance branding on the vertical stabilizer. I can't believe I'm able to say that. Oh my God, we just don't get enough of these aircraft. On the fuselage, we then have the full registration code of the aircraft and towards the very tail of the aircraft, we have a bit of detailing around the APU exhaust. At the front of the aircraft and across the fuselage, we then have the lovely uh, writing of Star Alliance. Underneath that, we have Air New Zealand. And while Air New Zealand wasn't a founding member of the Star Alliance, they were one of the very earliest airlines joining the Alliance after its formation. Then, of course, we also have a Star Alliance logo next to the front cabin door, and we have a few static ports here at the fuselage as well. That leaves us then with the cockpit section. Here we have the cockpit windows. Very importantly also, despite it being a black fuselage, we do have the window wipers. That's nice. And above the cockpit windows, we find the last two letters of the registration code. So I think overall, fairly decently done here from Harper Wings. The engine cells have been kept in all white, but we do have some safety markings, which is a lovely addition. And the physical detailing of the engines, I think, is, as always, really rather nice with Harper Wings, especially here from the front. Very, very nice. You can see the engine fan blades. Then on the fuselage, just above the wings, we have the emergency exit printed on, and that leads us straight to the wings, which we should also take a closer look at, starting off with the top side. Here we have the different flaps, slats, and spoilers carved out fairly nicely. We have some different shades of gray for additional detailing, and most importantly, we have the markings for the emergency exits. So that's really lovely as well. The underside of the wings offers more nice physical detailing, including the full registration code of the aircraft. My highlight, however, are the red colored tips of the pylons. I think that looks brilliant. And then, of course, we have the winglets with the Air New Zealand branding. But unfortunately, Harper is very inconsistent with these winglets of the A320 family. So you always need to check these aircraft models yourself before purchasing the models. I think we are fairly close with both winglets, but as you can see, one of them is slightly differently angled. So yeah, not perfect, but close enough, I would say, in this case. But you need to individually check every single model, unfortunately. So what about the landing gear? Well, that is, of course, the standard landing gear that Hapa uses for all their Airbus A320 family aircraft models. The main landing gear looks great as always. The front landing gear, unfortunately, massively oversized. And even worse, we are, as always, missing printed details. What a shame. Now, on the belly of the aircraft, we have a very special feature in form of a hole in the fuselage. You can barely see it. It is almost camouflaged in this case. But unfortunately, as there is no stand included with this aircraft model, this hole in the fuselage is really rather pointless. 
Now, a not so pointless detail we can find on top of the fuselage in form of a set dome. And I really love that Air New Zealand has gone with a white set dome here on the black aircraft fuselage because it gives a lovely contrast. And while it really does look good also on the model, it has to be said that Harper's set dome is really massively oversized compared to the real thing. And then last but not least, we do also have the doors to the cargo compartments printed on here at the back of the aircraft and also here at the front of the aircraft. So there we have it, the Airbus A321 new in the all black Star Alliance livery of Air New Zealand from Happy Wings and Scale 1 to 500. And what can we say about this aircraft model? So yes, I, I guess you have noticed that I'm actually quite excited about this aircraft model, but there are a few weaknesses, which we also need to mention. I mean, they are actually the standard weaknesses of Harper Wings with A320 family aircraft models. So we have a cockpit shape that is maybe a little bit weird at times. We have the massively oversized front landing gear with no printed details we have which is uh, my standing recommendation winglets that need to be checked individually for every single aircraft model because they are very inconsistent with them and even though the set dome does look great it is technically massively oversized but all that put aside I think we have a lovely aircraft model here. And yes, I'm under no illusion. This is mainly because of the livery. I, I mean, we don't get many black aircraft models. We have get even fewer Star Alliance livery aircraft models. So, I mean, there are many things coming together here. I also like the airline Air New Zealand, full disclosure. So yeah, as I say, there are many good things coming together here that work for me. But I think there are also some good things that are just related to Harper Wings and the aircraft model itself. I mean, the wings of the aircraft model are brilliantly detailed. Harper is doing a solid job with that. If they were then just a little bit more consistent with the winglets, it would be a fantastic job. Of course, it will not match everyone's collection as it is from down under, but I still think if you like a livery that is just a little bit different than all the other ones, and if you like Star Alliance, so any airline alliance livery really then i think this is a brilliant aircraft model to have in one's collection i don't know did any of this make sense let me know in the comment section below but with that we have reached the end of today's episode if you have enjoyed it don't forget to leave a like and hit subscribe and with that thanks so much for watching hope to see you soon again i'm checking out and bye